on the inside. Excuse me, that's Kane. Oh, oh, oh big trouble. Good but grief. They Did they not wreck? No, they're wrecking. They're wrecking. Oh. Suarez to the inside along with Newman. They're Cars piling up wrecking, to the outside and all the way across the track. Was that? They're still wrecking. Oh, McMurray's involved. I, I, it almost looked like the rear bumper of possibly Chase Elliott had got got um, Chase a little bit out of shape. He went to go inside there, and Chase, I don't think he had anything he could do. It just almost turned him. Well, when and the cars, cars come shooting across to the inside of the track, watch this 31 of Newman do a whole lot of agricultural racing right here. Wow. Like snow plows. Jeffrey Earnhardt. There was a whole lane there. Oh, turn one. There went that's the tire. Oh, no. Car one, I mean. Just, that's not a risk that it's worth taking. Oh, no. The oh. Didn't do anything. Jamie McMurray's car is killed. As well. Watch this, Jeff. I mean, this is just like all of a sudden that left rear goes. and I mean, you're at max speed when that tire blew out. There's nothing he could have done. Other nope. Wow, he's sideways. Oh, oh no, no, no. The crash. Ben Ben's straight away. Crashed. That'll be it. Big wreck going into three. I mean, look at him. A wreck in everywhere. I think they made it to the overtime line. Now, NASCAR will have to look at video to determine whether the leader was at the overtime line or not before the caution. So many good cars. We're having great days here. All wadded up in the third turn. Watch Ty Dillon. He gets loose, then a little bit of contact mm. between he and his teammate Ryan Newman. Hard contact, 77 and a 13 there. And then it's on. Yep, and he gets into the one. Oh. Is that McMurray down there? McMurray, Bain. It won't matter. Wow. Jimmy Johnson slams the wall in Pocono. Oh, my. Fucking break still. Running seventh, Johnson with a brake problem, and Jamie McMurray has destroyed the right side of his car. Yeah, he Whose brakes that. fail? Was I it think Jimmy I Johnson or was it Jimmy, Jimmy McMurray? McMurray? Looks like pretty similar hit for this one car. As a race car driver, this is one of your biggest fears is a brake issue here. Oh, he's going to get out in a hurry. They were running seventh and ninth, and it's crash and burn for Jamie McMurray's car. Right rear wheel was glowing bright red. You yeah, don't you often see that on the rear brake. No, I, there was some fire coming out. I think Johnson, I think it, McMurray ran over something. And that may have been brake fluid that caught on fire of those, on that hot, those hot parts on the right rear that was, we saw it was turning red. All right, we have some audio from Jimmy Johnson. And the big one happens at Daytona. Kyle Busch goes around in front of three or four other cars, collecting them, and the caution comes out again. I'm trying to give them information, but they know. I, I think it looks to me that the 18 had an issue or was having a handling issue. He was losing the car in front of him back against his brother's bumper, and I think the 41 turned around, not on purpose, but the 18 was slowing down, and you just cannot slow down in the packs. There's no doubt he started... And trying to stretch it today on fuel mileage, but obviously, up. Oh, we've got a caution. Caution on the racetrack. The 14 of Clint Boyer involved. Hold the brake. Also, the 41 of Kurt Busch. Hard damage to the front of that car. Got one coming outside. Oh, wow, Jamie McMurray, the one has damaged the right front, a flat tire. A lot of moving parts in this accident right here. Went back across the racetrack right in front. Yeah, the 41 of Kurt Busch. Big impact. There was a car in front of Clint that got loose, yes. but that saved it. And that, that's what drew my attention away from Clint Boyer. But if you look right behind that car, that's where the 14 actually looped. And around goes the one of Jamie McMurray. McMurray sliding on the apron on the backstretch. Jamie, hit anything. Get rolling. Can't hear me. Caution has come out just the third time. The first time it's come out for something other than the stage ending. You see Jamie McMurray right here in the bottom lane exiting turn two. Comes up the racetrack, makes contact with the 31. I'm not sure if 
the car was tight, if he thought the 31 was moving up, but without a doubt, he runs into the left rear corner of the 31, spinning the one car out. And not making mistakes as we see some cars making their way to pit road now. Oh, there you go. There's a, a big rip. And there's a problem. Jimmy McMurray gets hit. Earnhardt gets into him. McMurray's going to get hit again. We see that so many times at Talladega. Everybody trying to get on pit road at the same time, and they just make contact. And Jamie McMurray with big contact. So here we go. We see Jamie McMurray trying to slow down. He's in the second lane, way up on the racetrack in the 77. I think has no idea the one is pitting or just can't tell. And he hits him reasonably close to full speed, Jeff. Also the 15, we see Mark Thompson got into that as well. Chris Buescher in the 37, also collected in of Eric Jones and the 24. And around goes the 77 of Jones, almost up over the wall as they hit hard. That the 20 of Kenseth involved, as is the one of McMurray. A big wreck coming out of turn two. Inside, watch your inside. All right, we're rolling, guys. Four flat. Hopped in turn two. And you see they're coming off turn two, and Eric Jones, car gets loose, puts a little bit too much wheel back to the right, and basically head on into the wall, and then major impact behind got him up in the air. I think that was Daniel Suarez, perhaps, that made the first impact. It looked like the 19 car, that orange and white car. But as we mentioned, the 20 involved, the one of Jamie McMurray, both involved in the playoffs, part of the round of 12. It says the big hit right there for the 20 car. You see Jimmy Johnson on the left-hand side of the screen sliding through. Man, it's very good to see Eric Jones get out. That was a 